Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be doing kind of a follow-up video to quality and to testing of the Alan Bradley OA16 modules on the control logics. What I've got in my hand here is one of three that I just tested. The 1756 OA16 and is a version 3.2, which is a newer version. Uh, this is from 2007. Now, I got three of these in, tested them, put them into the chassis, test, hooked them up as for the usual, and tested them, and all of a sudden things started going a little strange, as you'll see in the video here. Um, this just goes to show that you have to test everything for more than just a couple of cycles. You have to give it a couple of minutes. And uh, we'll just get swung around here as usual and get set up, and uh, we'll be right back. Thanks a lot. Okay, so here we're back. So here's our, our standard chassis. Uh, here's our OA16. Here's our IA16 that it's tied to. Insert it. Install the wiring arm. Now what I've done on this is, here's the outputs. They're parallel to an input card. And then from there, this cable here goes up to the terminal strip, and they're tied to these pilot lights. Now, this gives simulation of, of a reasonable load that you're going to see in everyday industrial use. So, so get over here, and I've got just a little test program set up. Kind of move back down here so you can see the uh, module. So we tell it to start flashing, and it's flashing, as you can see, the inputs aren't on. Power it up, and you can see everything's going on and off together. And if you watch the on the input card, 4, 7, and 15. This will take a half a minute or so. But all three of them, after a little bit, start to give problems. There, you can see on, oh, now it's output one. You can see how it was staying on when the others were off. Now we're starting to get other little things going on if you watch the uh, the input. So that shows this has got at least one, if not four, flaky triacs in it. Now this is not something that you're going to see very often, but it shows the value of testing more than just a couple of times. And you can't just test with a ohm meter or a uh, you know tie your uh, voltage meter to it to see what it's going on and off you actually have to give it a little bit of time now you might have just noticed that output 11 started doing something strange there there it is now so there we go and like I say I've got three of these and they all act erratically the same as the other ones so it's either damaged triac or damaged chip in there. I'd say triac, triac but uh, you never know. So there you go. That's another reason why you should always double check and always give it a little bit of time. Don't be in a hurry. Thanks a lot. Come back any time and subscribe if you'd like. Thank you.